What's up guys, my name is Signal here for Troubleshoots and today I've got a very interesting video for you if you create YouTube videos and have a Steam account. So let's say that you're a medium sized or small sized YouTube channel starting up and you want to get your videos further out there. Well, a great way to do that is to get it shared on as many platforms as possible. Now with the new Steam library UI that you can see here, if we go to a game like Hunt Showdown, you can see that there is an embedded YouTube video here. Now this is from my main YouTube channel, Technobo, where it is inside of the Steam application itself under the game in question. So if I were to hit this play button, you guessed it, an embedded version of the YouTube video plays. So this is really good for small creators. And if you're like me, and you probably have two to 300 friends on Steam, most of which you have no idea who they are. Well, having this on the Steam page will help your video get in front of quite a few new eyes, especially just because it's shared in such an obvious place. When you click on the game, boom, there's the activity there. Now, of course, you'll have the other activity like other game announcements, achievements, wishlist notifications, etc, etc. But when you do post a video, it'll be nice and big. So of course you can use the activity up here. But if you'll notice when I paste a YouTube link, say to one of these videos, if I paste it in here and hit post, you'll see that it comes up as just a YouTube URL and nothing more. In fact, most of the Steam formatting doesn't work here. The only thing I've really seen that works is bold. So if we do B and then something below it, you can see that it comes up as bold. Not too useful, especially when you're trying to embed your YouTube videos. So you're interested in doing this. How exactly do you go about this? Because this is the new Steam library UI. Well, it's actually rather simple. All you need to do is head across to your page by clicking your name in the top right and then view profile or clicking your name up here. Then head across to the videos tab over here. You'll have games, inventory, screenshots, videos, and then when you're in here, yours won't look like this. It'll probably be empty. But up at the top here, these buttons will also be different. There will be a sign into YouTube button. All you need to do is click that. Then click the green access for YouTube button and make sure to sign in with your current Google account linked to the channel you want to post videos for. Now, this doesn't automatically post videos. You'll have to go ahead and actually add them manually because each time that you upload them, you'll have to pick a game category in order for them to pop up under the right games tab. Otherwise, if you don't select a games category or put it onto one that's not actually on Steam, then it will only pop up under the activities page that I've honestly never seen any one of my friends use, including me. After you signed into your Google account and picked a YouTube channel to use, just hit the allow button when it asks to view your YouTube account and then you'll be taken to a page similar to this one here. Now, basically what you'll be doing is you'll be ticking boxes on the left-hand side next to videos that you want to add using the drop-down under stage two or number two to pick what game or category it is and then hitting the add video button under number three, add it to your profile. Now, the really odd thing about this is that it doesn't actually add with the way that you tick them. And in fact, the way that the list is sorted, it's actually going to be backwards if you select everything and add it to your profile because the first item on your list when you tick it will be the last item on your actual videos page. So that's rather annoying. There might be another way around this. However, what I had to do is scroll to the very bottom, tick the first few games that I want to add and add the videos one by one. I had something around 50 or 60, maybe 100 videos that I had to add. So it was pretty torturous, but I did get through it eventually after quite a bit. You're probably seeing a time lapse here on screen right now. But basically, once you've done this all one time and you've filled out your entire back catalog, then you just need to add new videos each time you upload them. Just remember to tick the last ones first and then leave your current uploads, the newest ones, for last. Otherwise, they won't come up on the list properly. Then once you're done with everything, when your friend clicks on a Steam game, they'll probably see your video nice and big up at the top for them to go and marvel at. So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.